Hello everyone and welcome back to Tutorials of Tone. My name is Alex. Thank you so much for watching this video. What we're talking about today is the classic hit by Maroon 5, Moves Like Jagger. We're using the infamous pop sweep throughout this video and also the option of having a nice heavy tone should your band choose to do that, as some bands I've played with have employed. Let's dive right in. First up, we have our input block. Everything is at stock settings, except the threshold of our gate is at negative 47 and a half dB. That's where I like to have it for my Morse Music Man guitars. I'm on the bridge humbucker throughout this entire tune. First up, we have our compressor block. It's a Studio FF compressor, mostly stock settings. The release time is at 63 and a quarter milliseconds. No auto makeup gain engaged and our level is at 6.5 dB to make up for the compressed signal. In true James Valentine fashion, we are using a divided by 13 amp. Very, very neutral stock settings going on here with the bright switch engaged. We've got a 40 hertz low cut on the amp block. Running into a pair of 2x12 divided by 13 cabs with a 57 and a 121. We have nothing to speak of for low cut or high cut in this cab block. Now we talk about the pop sweep very briefly. There is a video on this channel depicting exactly how to set this up. We have a band pass filter sweeping between 200 and 3000 hertz. As it sweeps, the volume turns down on that signal and turns up in this for our clean, unprocessed signal. As we hit the top of the chain, you see that the filtered tone mutes as the volume is off, so there's no gap in that. So when you're not using this, make sure that your expression pedal is on the toe. To compensate for the nexus, where these two points crossfade, where the bandpass is going out and the volume of our clean tone is coming in, we have a filter block at the end of our chain. It's got a 4 dB offset. It really helps keep things nice and level. We also have a multi-band compressor running in series. This really helps to keep things smooth, especially when we're in the low end of that sweep. As you can see, I have Pretty stock settings throughout. The crossover frequencies are 200 and 800 hertz, respectively. The level on the lows is negative 5 dB. We've got 2 dB on the mids and the stock setting of 6 dB on our highs. You have no makeup level on that. We also have a reverb, a medium plate reverb, running in parallel. We're at negative 15 dB for this, just to give it a little bit of extra breath. It's a nice thing, especially if you're recording straight to the board, to have this, but you don't need a ton of it if you're playing in a live room. We also have the option, should a band call this, for a nice Metallica-esque heavy tone, which we are using a Mesa Boogie 2C Plus with 100 hertz roll off on the lows, 8500 hertz on the high cut, but pretty uniform settings for a Mesa Boogie. We also have the infamous V, or the Mark series amps. We're running that into a pair of Mesa Boogie cab IRs. We have a Recto Straight with an SM7, that is the bulk of our tone, and then a Mesa Boogie Traditional with a 121, dialed back 9 dB, just to get rid of that extra fizz. We've got 40 Hz low cut and 10K on the high cut for this. Our multiband compressor stays engaged but switches to channel B where everything is set flat. This is just to tame those lows, especially when you're palm muting. So our crossover frequencies change to 120 hertz and 500 hertz respectively. It's nice to have this on the ready should your band leader choose to call an audible and want to get heavy, but otherwise just sticking to a standard pop sweep tone is perfectly alright for this tune 
as that's what they're doing throughout. That about does it for this preset. If you enjoyed this, there are plenty more videos throughout the channel. We have Fractal 101, tutorials of tone, gear reviews, playthroughs, etc. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.